What's going on, guys? Uh, right now, I'm in the parking lot of uh, AMC, and I'm about to get ready to go see uh, The Marvels. Now, I'm just going to be frank with you. I have very, 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 very low expectations for this film. I don't know. The ad campaign for this film has kind of been lackluster, so I'm just going to put my expectations very, very low. Because usually when I do that, I usually get a better reaction. And I'm going to be frank again, you know, Marvel started on top, but lately their content has just plummeted. I haven't, the last thing that I really, really enjoyed was Moon Knight. I loved Moon Knight. So maybe the Marvels will be a turning point. I don't know. Kevin Feige, I still have faith in you. Please, let's steer the MCU in the right direction. Me, personally, I'm not going to be really, really excited until I see the X-Men and Fantastic Four. That's just me. I love them so much. They are my absolute favorite. All right, let's go to the movies. What? Oh, goddamn. What? That was a great surprise. Oh, my God, y'all. The Marvels is good. It's so good. It's just... It, women fucking rule. There's so much action in this film. It's crazy. And the mere fact that it's only an hour and 45 minutes. Like, they pack a lot in. And majority of it is action. And it's pretty amazing. Kamala Khan, she steals the show. Like, she's hysterical. And her family, oh, so heartfelt. This film had a lot of heart. And I wasn't really expecting that. Um... Monica Rambeau, amazing, absolutely amazing. I still have my problems with Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. I'm not a big fan of hers, and I don't know. To me, to me, she was the weakest out of the three. And this film had a lot of humor, like, a lot. But, oh my god, those end credit scenes, holy shit. I'm not gonna spoil anything, I'm not that kind of person, but... There are two, and oh, oh my god. The entire theater, like, erupted in applause. Like, oh, is the MCU back? Oh my god. Now, it's not a perfect MCU film. I mean, it still struggles with the villain. I MCU can never get a villain right. I mean, she was good. For, you know, but it just, I don't know. It just did not click with me. And Goose, like, come on. Goose is just so adorable. And there is a hysterical, hysterical scene that involves Goose. I, I Like like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the scene was so quirky. And the song that was playing in the background Oh my god, it was it was a cinematic masterpiece. It was so funny. My entire theater, including myself, was dying of laughter. It was so funny. So good, man. Oh, the Marvels. What an amazing surprise. <laughs> Nia DaCosta directed this and also co-wrote it and I I'm girl, I'm very impressed. If you don't know who she is, she wrote and directed the new Candyman movie. It wasn't a perfect film, but it was visually just stunning. So <laughs> Nia DaCosta girl. Hats off to you, girl. Hats off. She definitely did her homework. So the Marvels was hysterical, action-packed, had a ton of heart, and those end credit scenes. Oh, go see the Marvels. Do not sleep on this film. I saw it in IMAX and it was awesome. So make sure you see it on the biggest screen possible because the effects were actually really, really good. I was very surprised. Set your expectations low like I did. And look at that. I actually love the film. It was great. Go see the Marvels now. Bye. Is that Captain Marvel? Oh, what a great ending. <laughs>